What we are having today is an ongoing training. It has been uh, ongoing from Monday. Uh, it's going to be five days until Friday. And mainly what we are training people in is the installation of solar panels and every component that comes with installations uh, from home. If anyone needs uh, solar PV technologies, the panels, the batteries, the charge controllers, the inverters and so forth. So from this training, the students that you are seeing in the back view are learning the very basics to begin with from electricity, these components, what they entail, what are they going to look for when they go to purchase such items or even before they purchase them, what do they need to consider from the place that they want to install them into. We are an avenue of creating job opportunities for the youth that uh, take part in this training because now they'll go forth with the certifications they acquire, they will acquire licensing to be able to install these uh, technologies as technicians. This week we have a solar PV training, solar photovoltaics training. It has started from Monday, 30th of November, and it is going for five days. So it's, up, it's ending on 4th of December. So basically we are instilling skills on solar installations, designing, and sizing. We have about 17 participants. Most of them are students from Multimedia University of Kenya and they are really interested to know, to know more about green energy technologies and solar technologies. After this training, they will be now skilled solar technicians. I'm a third year student in Multimedia pursuing a bachelor's in renewable energy and technology. So this week we've been here in the T1, T2 training which is a renewable energy research consortium. We are, I'm going to be a participant. I'm here because I want to be impacted in my knowledge. And at the end of this course, I expect to be able to, uh, to be consulted according to the solar PV installation. And I expect to have knowledge of installing myself and even assembling and coming up with new ideas to impact the world in terms of energy concentrating on the renewable energy. Uh, the experience so far is very good. It's the third day, but I think I'm, I've gained more knowledge than I expected. Right now we are doing the hands-on, the practical unit, and I think they're impacting very well because it's easier to, to understand when it comes to the practical sessions uh, more than the theoretic. And I think it is very beneficial to me so far. The experience is good so far. Uh, at the end of this program I expect to have gained more knowledge to be able to understand how to install appliances, how to choose the correct appliances, how to deal with customers and their demands. The experience has been very inspiring being that there are more female students than male students. It's actually a great honor. So yeah, the program so far has been good. It has been a wonderful experience as an intern here. I've been an intern for the past one year uh, since the consortium was, uh, was established. And it has been a continual educational and a learning process. When I see myself wearing an overall, when I see myself carrying a solar panel, when I see myself connecting a battery to power the loads, it has been a wonderful experience being part of the consortium. And next to it, uh, we are proud and even more happy to have the first T1, T2 training, uh, solar PV training in uh, MMU. It has been a wonderful journey since the consortium was born. And as you can see the growth and even having the first T1, T2 training, it has been a great milestone. It has been a wonderful reception and the students getting, or rather the trainees getting to understand and to attach what they have in class and what is there practically. I'd like to urge those in the science and engineering courses to flood up these trainings, mostly from MMU or rather any other institution from any other company in the energy sector, they can come to, to, to obtain the skills that are in line with the trainings that, are, uh, that we have. This week is a landmark for us because uh, we are having uh, the first 
T1, T2 uh, solar workshop whereby we are focusing on our young youth, especially the science and engineering students. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, we had a very good um, um, feedback, whereby we have a total of about 16 uh, young men and women who have joined us in this workshop. We expect them uh, at the end of the workshop to actually just in, uh, apply what they have learned and of course uh, get licenses from um, uh, the energy uh, sector. At the same time, we are also uh, uh, working in partnership with um, the educational uh, institutions uh, in Germany, whereby we are collaborating into these uh, hands-on skills. And I want to welcome all of uh, you, especially uh, those who are in the energy sector, to join us to actually uh, be part of this consortium. Uh, the main aim is um, to actually equip the hands-on skills to these um, uh, young you know, uh, consultants. And one of the skills is um, the sizing, how they are going to size these solar components. As you are aware, we have had a challenge when it comes to malfunctioning of the solar components um, in our uh, domestic and industrial sector. At the same time, uh, once they get licensed, uh, we expect that uh, as a university, we are going to actually do a pilot uh, project of a solar PV plant within our institution and also uh, do uh, awareness uh, workshops within our community just to make sure that uh, uh, we do uh, actually the correct sizing of these solar components within, within our nation.